New York Times says that anybody can learn to cook and can learn to love cooking. Really? Anybody? That sounds like a challenge. And I accept that challenge. Let's see what happened the last time I tried to cook. I'm supposed to bring a side dish. Last year, I brought a bag of salad. This year, I decided that I would actually work at making something. And uh, my sponsor says, this is a good sign. You're engaging with life. I've lived here for over a year. I used the stove top for the first time about a week ago. I have never used the oven. How do people find this relaxing? I just don't get it. How do I know what it tastes like? I don't know. This is me engaging in life. I need a drink. So this series starts with a dish that involves absolutely no cooking. That's a good start. <laughs> so today, tuna mayo rice bowl. Uh, it's a homey dish. I will link to the article downstairs and to the recipe. The problem is it's going to be behind a paywall and I apologize for that. What I can do is tell you the ingredients and I will do that as I go. So here are the ingredients. And basically, all we have to do is mix it. Um, okay, in a small bowl, stir one five-ounce can of tuna, well-drained. Okay, there's an icky brown thing in there. I don't know what that is. Body parts? I don't want it. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. A half a teaspoon of soy sauce. And a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then um, toasted white or black sesame seeds for cocky uh, or chopped scallions for topping, optional. Okay, I have, I have scallions. A cup of cooked white rice, preferably short or medium grain. Now here we have a problem <laughs> uh, because cooked rice presumably requires being cooked and I'm not supposed to have to cook. I'm not gonna cook rice, but I do have instant rice, which I'm going to throw in the microwave. And um, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. This is not white rice. I don't care. Add the white rice and spoon the tuna mixture on top. Wait a minute. I need two bowls? Okay, I did this wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, so I was supposed to take one small bowl and put it and mix up the tuna and stuff. And then I was supposed to take another small bowl and put in the rice and then spoon the tuna mixture on top. Um, as you can see, that's not what's going on here. So, okay. Well, you know what, fuck it and, um, yep. Okay, so just so like there's something that actually resembles cooking here, um, I am going to add the optional scallions. I bought a knife for this, I'll just have you know. I decided that I should probably have a knife that I didn't get at dollar store for chopping. This is the first time I've used it, so we'll see if it was worth the 18 bucks, which was on sale. Okay. Oh, it was. <laughs> It was definitely worth it. That's that is a whole different ball game. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess I should put it like on a plate instead of just in the bowl, which normally normally I would not mess a plate up with this. Yep. There she blows. Tuna. Uh, whatever this is. All right. Let's see. That's pretty good, I have to say. The sesame oil, I think, adds something. You're supposed to put in like sesame seeds and you know, but it says you can add like whatever you want. So there you have it. I'm glad it worked. I'm glad it tastes good. I guess I'm glad I did it. Welcome to my new knife. 
It's one piece. I think I can put it in the dishwasher. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you next time. I'm so hungry. The dish I'm going to make that uh, the New York Times says I should start out on is a tuna, uh, God damn it, I left the recipe in the other room. <laughs> One moment, please. This is stressful too, but I don't mind it. Pardon me.